Hello again. So we have looked at um, the first section, American Indian Tribes of Alabama. Last week we looked at the causes of the war. And then this week we're looking at sec section three, the Creek Indian War. Essential question, how did the Creek Indian War cause changes in Alabama? What terms do you need to know? Orphan, militia, migration, and elect. The Creek Indian War. The Red Sticks got weapons from the Spanish in Florida. As they traveled home in July 1813, settlers attacked them. The Red Sticks drove the settlers away. This is known as the Battle of Burt Corn Creek. Fort Mims. Settlers built more forts to protect themselves from the Red Sticks. One of them, Fort Mims, was in the area of Baldwin County. About 500 people were living at the fort in August of 1813. The settlers left the gates open and did not keep careful watch. On August the 30th, the Red Sticks were led by Chief Red Eagle to the attack. Hundreds of men, women, and children were killed or taken prisoner. Less than 40 survived. Sam Dale, a hero. The attack on Fort Mims made settlers angry and afraid. Sam Dale became a hero to the settlers by leading a small group to attack and kill the Red Sticks, traveling by canoe. The settlers asked for help. This is Andrew Jackson. Jackson. Georgia sent troops to help the settlers, and Andrew Jackson led the troops from Tennessee. A militia from Fort Stoddard and Choctaw Chief Pushamataha and the White Sticks fought the Red Sticks. In the fall of 1813, General Andrew Jackson led soldiers in an attack of Red Sticks. In an area now in Calhoun County, nearly 200 Red Sticks were killed. The Battle of Holy Ground. Many Red Sticks were camped at a special place in the Alabama River in Lowndes County. Creek legend said this holy ground would protect the Red Sticks. In December of 1813, General Claiborne and Chief Pushmataha attacked the Red Sticks at Holy Ground. The Red Sticks were defeated and their settlement was burned. In the Battle of Horseshoe Bend, in March of 1814, about 1,000 Red Sticks were camped at a horseshoe shaped bend in the Tallapoosa River. They built a wall to protect themselves along with the river at the rear. General Jackson split his army into two groups. One attacked the wall, the other sneaked in from the river. Over 800 Red Sticks were killed. The defeat broke the power of the Red Sticks. The war ends. Chief War Eagle, that's hard for me to say because I'm an Alabama fan. Ha <laughs> ha. Chief War Eagle surrendered in April of 1814 to General Jackson. The general sent the chief to his home in Tennessee for protection. The war ended officially in August with the Treaty of Fort Jackson. The Creek gave up 23 million acres to the United States. This started the great migration of the settlers into Alabama. Jacksonian Democracy. Andrew Jackson was called a hero because of his victories against the Red Sticks and later against the British in the Battle of New Orleans. Jackson was elected president in 1828 and was thought of as a common man. This happened at a time when more men were getting the right to vote. Jackson's plan was to force Indians to leave their lands and move westward. Even the Indians who alongside Jackson were forced to move. He thought this was the only way to keep them safe from future fights with settlers. Indian removal. Many Indians adopted the, the religion, clothing, and farming ways of the Americans. Still, settlers kept pushing into their la onto their lands. In 1830, Congress passed the Indian Removal Act. This forced all Indians to leave Alabama, traveling 1,000 miles to the west side of the Mississippi River on the Trail of Tears. The Indians were to live in the lands now called Oklahoma. Many Indians died along the way. A few stayed in Alabama, but gave up their Indian ways. 